gypsy there. Or that'll be a story to tell. Alright, it's already warm in here. Okay. I've already got a couple of people in the uh, stream chat. Hello, it's been a while. Yes, it has been a while. Uh, give me a second here. I'm still popping up a few things. Uh, I'm gonna pop out chat. There we go. I need to get to. Was it video producer? No, that's not it. Yeah, the previous one was an oopsie. Still setting up a few things. Uh, I think it's creator dashboard. There we go. Yeah, that's where I need to be. I gotta give it a minute. Need to empty out my pockets. Ugh. There we go. Okay. Uh, what else? Sub points. I don't even know what that is. Um, what the hell? Uh, thank you for hosting. Oh, now I remember what it was. That needs to be a black screen for a bit. No, wait a minute. I need to open up these separate windows so that way I can keep track of anything. Projector. I need to... Do and you know what's thought something was missing the viewer count <laughs> 14. Yeah, all right. So, uh, yeah, I got those up. This is still me getting myself all prepared and everything. So, yes, it has been a while. Let's see, how have I been dealing with the quarantine? You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and move this over here. Um, not too shabby. Uh, there is a little bit of detail that I'm willing to share on behalf of what's been going on with the whole uh, pandemic. Not going to get into too much details. I'll just give you clip notes because I know you guys are here for, you know, some fun and games and not, you know, vice versa. Um, but I also want to point out, as you can tell, I made a slight change on the screen here. So now I have a list of whoever with, uh, the donors were when it comes to the little ticker there. And... Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I've got new milestones uh, back. Uh, I have, yeah, I've got milestones added in for the donation for the Powerhouse computer that I started this year. I had to put it on a major hold for a few reasons, but things are situated. Um, so the next thing, uh, I don't know if you noticed it yet. Um, I have added a new set of subscriber milestones and i hope you guys are excited with what um what's in store for that one so yeah uh whenever you know whenever it rolls by do 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 see so, yeah, i i hope i got it in the right order there we go yeah let's see have I seen the Steven Universe finale and considering you're doing Sonic 3, uh, you pain shall be my soundtrack. Again, Diddy's Sonic Drowning. Oh, fuck you, Spinel. God damn it. No, I have not seen um, the Steven Universe future finale yet. I've been meaning to catch up on it, but I just kept getting sidetracked by so much shit. It's really nothing new whenever I mention that. Um, and upon mentioning... Uh, the whole show itself. Like, I don't have any issue with the show, like most people do. Uh, but I haven't been catching up on any other shows before. Like, I barely watch DuckTales. I've um, hardly watched any of uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And I have never watched a single episode of Game of Thrones. I've only seen, like, one episode of... What's that show called? Stranger Things. Which I hear it's good. I just... I I'm not caught up with everything. And that's definitely going to be my homework at some point. 
Um, so yeah, hate me for that one, <laughs> for not getting up to date with everything. Uh, have I seen Tuka and Birdie? I've seen a few episodes and then I heard that it got canceled or something like that. Which sucks because despite how bizarre the art style is, I really love how zany and self-aware it gets. Um, I think it was only avail available on Netflix and then I got taken off. So, so yeah, um, so yeah, as you can see in the corner, um, the following, uh, sub milestones, I've got Time Spinner, Demon's Crest, I've got Tetris 3D, and, um, of course at the 1000 mile, uh, sub milestone is Super Mario RPG. Trust me, I went through all that and it wasn't fun. Uh, I'm pretty sure that watching, um, I'm pretty sure that watching the rest of Steven Universe Future won't be too big of a deal. It's like 14 episodes or something like that. And keep in mind, I only watched like the first four, so it doesn't seem too much. <laughs> yes, Ripple Effect, I am serious. <laughs> And I thought you said it was boring. I was, but I started playing it a little more and it did get a little challenging. Derek. Oh, Derek. Yeah, unfortunately. Derek, um, about that. I do have plans on streaming Yoshi's Island, but not tonight. Um, on the poll on Twitter, Sonic 3 won by a landslide. Like, it was 70-30. Man, it's going to rain Lancaster on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Okay. Nothing like having some April showers, you know? Yes, Retro Gamer. Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Ah, oh, shit. Maybe next week, it will all depend on how much progress I make with Sonic 3. Because Sonic 3 is, it's a pretty big game. And by that, I mean like both that and Sonic uh, and Knuckles. Like, to me, whenever I hear, um, whenever I hear Sonic 3, I always hear, like, to me, the definitive Sonic 3 is both the combination of Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles with the expansion pack or the, um, the lock-on technology. How does that work with an emulator? Um, I've got a, I've got an emulator for that. I'm still working with a few uh, tinkers here and there, but I'll, yeah, I'm gonna get it to work at one point. Let's see, did anyone? Jesus Christ, did, that's a lot of text. Did anyone see the Nintendo Direct Mini? Who's gonna play the? the I have not watched that yet. Um, let's see, I'm drawing again, and I already got one drawing done, and it's half. And da, 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 da. um, I guess. See, I hated Yoshi's Island because it pissed me off so much when I was playing the GBA port. I say good luck at Flying Battery Zone as you try your best of progress. Honestly, I actually like Flying Battery Zone, especially the music. Um, it's going to be nice and sunny here in Blackpool this weekend. Some people say that I wish it would rain. I can see there's a lot going on here. Oh yeah, um, something else, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, Keyframe is doing a lot better. Thank God she didn't have the you-know-what. But, uh, she's been doing much better now than she has before, and I'm glad that she's doing a lot better. I was rightfully worried about that. Let's see, the GPA portion was my childhood. Um... But something else I wanted to mention, um, what was it? it? It actually has something to do with work, and it's going to slightly impact on my schedule. 
where normally I stream on Friday nights, um, but things have to change slightly for next week because um, they're having me work Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and upon working early Saturday morning, like 1 in the morning, um, I cannot do Friday night. So I decided to set back either Thursday night or maybe do uh, Saturday. Um, I'm a little bit on the loose end right now, but, um, I'll see, uh, I'll see what I can think about, I'll see what I can come up with, and hopefully, uh, set some things in stone. Uh, but aside from that, throughout this week and last week, I've had some day shifts, and in contrast to my regular shifts, working day shift, it's... Personally, it just feels so much better than working a graveyard ship because first of which I get a good night's sleep instead of having to get up in the middle of the night or having to go bed during the middle of the day because I fucking hated that. Uh, secondly, when serving customers, they're really not that challenging as long as you do your job. Um, there's always that lingering fear that a customer is going to have a hissy fit because they didn't get what they're after. And obviously that is uh, bound to happen. But with that being said, there hasn't been anybody who was all pissy about anything. Um, but I do have to keep uh, keep on the lookout for whatever customers have to do. Like I had to tell them a lot about uh, the paper towels and toilet paper because the amount of times people are hawking it or hoarding it and all that stupid shit. Um, But yeah, uh, yeah, just help uh, serving, um, helping customers find products and uh, bagging everything up. I had no problem doing that. It was a little like it's a little nerve wracking at first because they're dealing with people, and I haven't been used to that before. Other than that, I'm collecting carts or I'm just cleaning windows. It's a lot more relaxing. It's a little bit more relaxing instead of having to just move your ass around and collecting all kinds of trash through every aisle and. Uh, the people who work in the day shift have a much, much friendlier attitude. So, yeah. I do hope at some point I get another, um, like a permanent day shift position instead of having to work a graveyard shift. Just dear God. The graveyard shift is not fun. Sometimes you have to start out that way in order to get a job, and that was the case for me. Um, anybody out there who's looking for work, um, I wish you the best of luck. Because, you know, looking for a job is always a pain in the ass. And that's always one of the most mentally challenging obstacles that, unfortunately, everybody has to face. And I do not wish it upon anybody. I wish that looking for work was much easier. But, yeah. With that being said, uh, my schedule was changed uh, drastically for next week. And most of this is because of the you-know-what. And... I'm not really complaining about that. I just have to make a, a slight arrangement next week whenever I go back to doing, um, uh, doing a, you know, another stream day. Oh, also, I got myself a couple more Steam games, so I'm going to do another test run at some point during next week and see how well that works. Um, and hopefully I'll uh, get some more, uh, some more games to test out and see what works. So with that all being said, uh, enough about my own stupid little life. I hope things are going well for you guys. Uh, I hope you guys are staying safe, keeping yourselves, um, you know, sanitized and clean, hands washed and all that shit. Every single day I'm making sure that all the dishes are clean and I'm washing my hands thoroughly. Your life is not stupid. Ripple, it's a joke. It's a joke. Um, so Yosha Story is a great game. I got a suggestion for a classic game to check out. Have you ever heard of Yis series pronounced with Yahard E. Sa I don't even... I wouldn't know yet. Let's see. Uh, from what I've seen so far for our E3 remake looks great. Oh, you mean Resident Evil 3? 
Plus, I'm kind of good at Doom 93. A lot of people are good at Doom 93. Doom 93, or Doom, the original Doom, was known for its gore. And, um, you know, having that first-person shooter-like sort of um, gameplay that was still, you know, ambitious at the time, but now it's common these days. Um... But yeah, you can just you can go through that game without too much of a problem. Just don't die, because if you die, you're done. You know, unless you save a point where you um, pick up where you last left off. Let's see, Doom or Ultimate because Super Shotgun. Oh, I still like. Okay, I still have yet to stream um, Dooms two and three. But unlike the first, every time I load up those two on Steam, for some reason. Whenever I set it to a window position, I can't resize it to a more tolerable one. It's a, it's otherwise a tiny screen, and I don't want to try to focus on a tiny screen. It's that's that's too difficult, and I wouldn't want the viewers to deal with this said tiny screen. That would be ridiculous. I don't know how to adjust the resolution on there. I do hope that gets fixed at some point, because I would love to stream more Doom games. The first Doom was fun to play through. I've already streamed, like, I've already played the game a number of times, so I'm not too um, hesitant on the other two. So, yeah. Kind of jumping all over the place. So, yeah, Sonic 3. It's going to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I should clarify that. I should also clarify that again whenever I, you know, get started in streaming. All right. Um, I think I have everything I need. Oh, there's one more thing that I, oh, I gotta, I gotta advertise this. <laughs> I mean, I got enough people here, but sometimes it's good to get more people to watch. All right. Come on. that oh i need to sign out of skype uh still setting up a few things here yeah go ahead and sign out of skype for some reason skype uses up a lot of cpu or i think it does <clears throat> all right uh what was I gonna look for? Let's see. What the hell was that? Uh, Derek the Brony, thank you for hosting. Don't forget to rip and tear. <laughs> Upset that Doom Eternal got cut out of pistol since. Uh, uh, I gotta focus. <laughs> Y'all are interested in the game, so enough talking. Let's get straight to shit.